Hello everyone, this is Bacholi with Archeon. This game is an immersive engineering sandbox and it is quite complex. So to get started, we're gonna first hit F1. And uh, this is a help menu and also for your settings and avatar style and everything you might need. Uh, first thing you need to know is that uh, you need to hit left alt to release the mouse cursor like this so that you need to move around and click things around right you can just click back in the game to control your view again if you hold left alt it will temporarily release the cursor and when you let go it grabs it back right if you hit it quickly you let it go and then you can click around so this action is the old or toggle feature. It's available for a lot of different things in the game. Basically, uh, it's it's reversible, right? So if you hold out, you can move around, you really let go, and you have the mouse again. Again, reversible, right? So uh, it also works with tab. So you hit tab, you get uh, your backpack. Basically, it's your inventory. You also get a crafting table here for the adventure mode. But right now we're in creative, so we don't need that. We have everything you, we need to build things, right? So in this game, you have to build things yourself, right? It's an engineering sandbox. You have to build everything yourself. You have to make your own designs. Uh, but there are a lot of things on the blueprint, in the blueprints in the uh, Steam Workshop, right? So you can download uh, things from other players as well. So this is Earth. Three billion years ago in the Archeon Eon. Uh, so it's quite barren, right? There's not much to this earth during that time. There's a lot of uh, land, water, some mountains, water, plenty of water actually. Lots of rocks. There's a volcano over there. Um, so there's no life on earth. Uh, well, technically, I think there's uh, some life underwater but it's just like bacterial life they're barely starting to produce oxygen so there's no oxygen in the atmosphere almost none actually it's mostly methane and uh, carbon dioxide so uh, the character is basically uh, it's a humanoid it's not fully human it has a biological brain but a mechanical body um, it looks like that from outside the game is fully ray traced in real time, uh, so that's why it requires an RTX GPU. Uh, you need to be able to do r hardware ray tracing. At the time of this recording, AMD RDNA 2 GPUs, even though they do hardware ray tracing, they will not work with this game because of driver issues on Windows. And, uh, so, but if you have an NVIDIA RTX graphics card, there's no problem. It will run just fine with great performance. So the avatar has a jetpack with the J key, right? And you can move around like that. J is for toggling it, but you can also just, you know, if you just jump, it will momentarily activate it. Okay? The game is made to be played in first person. It's made to be immersive this way. The third person mode is more for like screenshots and things like that. You can use the uh, wheel for the uh, zoom. Okay. Um, there are quite a bit of rocks on the terrain. You can pick them up for adventure mode. Um, but in creative mode, you can just build whatever you want. And the end goal for now is to go to the moon. But you I mean, it's a sandbox. Uh, you do whatever you want. But you can reach the moon in this game if you wanted to, right? So the moon is quite big in the sky because it's actually a lot closer to the Earth, at least. That's what it was uh, 3 billion years ago, where the game is set. Um, it's a lot closer and it's actually geosynchronous. That means it follows the Earth's rotation, right? It's at the right distance in its orbit to rotate with the Earth so it makes it always up there in the sky right you always see it uh, this is a gameplay decision and it makes it uh, easier to uh, reach the moon don't get me wrong it's still a space sim that's realistic uh, real orbital mechanics it is challenging 
you're not gonna get to the moon that easily, right? You have to build your own spaceship, you have to figure things out. That's the point of the game, right? So you still have uh, a lot of blueprints available on the Steam Workshop, other people's creations, right? You can try. Uh, some of them uh, you can actually, uh, you know, there are rockets that you can go to the moon with. Uh, but this game is much more than just a space sim, even though it does uh, space sim stuff. It also does rovers and submarines, airplanes, uh, you name it, right? Like everything is simulated, aerodynamics, uh, uh, buoyancy, uh, you know, it goes quite far with that, right? And you have to manage your own power, you have to connect your own cables, so it is, it is a very advanced um, engineering sandbox so not for the faint of hearts uh, it can uh, seem quite difficult for uh, new players who are not used to this type of game but uh, there's a lot of uh, hours of, uh, of fun gameplay that you can get if you like engineering or programming right so this game has a very advanced programming system built in so if you if you're a programmer and you're looking for a game that does programming then you're gonna have a lot of fun in this game if you're not a programmer uh, there is an easier way to uh, to code in the game with a visual uh, node based system uh, it it gets the job done to you know to, to do some quick scripting it's easy to use and then you can use that to learn a bit about the code because it generates code in the background right so uh, let's see an F1 what we get here. Um, we get the frame rate, the help, the graphics settings, advanced graphics, avatar style. Let's do this. Uh, so you can design your uh, avatar here. So you can choose your color. You have three uh, different colors uh, you can set to it in different spots. Let's make it red here. Let's make it orange for the second color, you know, might as well make some kind of Iron Man suit. You can also change between glossy, metallic, or matte. Let's make it glossy for this one, okay? And uh, the third color, let's make it uh, white and metallic, right? So this, uh, I mean, it almost looks like some kind of Iron Man. Maybe more metallic here, actually. Yeah. Anyways, so you can set whatever style you want here, and in multiplayer, other players will actually see your avatar just like that, right? Another cool aspect in the game is the drone mode, right? So if you hit F2, you're kind of a, in a drone, right? You can just fly around with six degrees of freedom, and um, you can go pretty much uh, anywhere you can also uh, it's like a clip mode you can go through things but not the ground and if you notice the uh, the terrain is actual 3d geometry it's not just like um, uh, you know normal maps but on top of uh, you know some flat uh, planes it's actual 3d geometry the shapes that you see in the sand is actual 3d geometry right so with ray tracing we have that ability to uh, render very complex geometries without uh, much performance lost right so let's get out of drone mode go back into avatar um, so yeah that's it for this first tutorial see you in the next one